apart, only to have their bodies discovered in the same Cass County wooded area is now underway. Kara Kapetsky was reported missing in May of 2007. Jessica Runyons was reported missing in September of 2016. A mushroom hunter discovered their remains in April of 2017. The man charged with their murders, Kyler Eust, faced a judge and jury for day one of his trial today. KCTV5's Emily Rittman is live now at the Cass County Justice Center. Emily? Brad, this is going to be an incredibly emotional and grueling trial for those who knew and loved Kara and Jessica. It's also going to be difficult for those jurors who are going to be looking at evidence and hearing testimony day after day for an estimated three weeks. Today, we saw Kara Kapetsky's mother, Rhonda Beckford, and her stepfather, Jim Beckford, were outside of the Cass County Justice Center as they prepared to watch the trial. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, many relatives and loved ones are watching video of the trial from separate rooms rather than watching from inside the courtroom itself. Today, the prosecution made opening statements portraying Kyler Eust as a jealous and violent man who did not want to lose two women who he had relationships with. The defense alluded to trying to prove someone else killed the women, often referring to Eust's half-brother, Jessup Carter, during their opening statements. Carter committed suicide while in custody in the Jackson County Detention Center in 2018 after reporting to authorities that Eust confessed to him he killed Jessica and set her vehicle on fire. After we left with her that night, Eust murdered Jessica with deliberation, same as he did Kara before, because no one else can have Jessica either. After he killed Jessica, he went back to this spot, his spot. You stumped Jessica's body in the same woods that he said he threw Kara all those years before. This evidence proves Eust guilty. This is a long and complicated story that spans more than a decade. And when you don't have all of the facts, you can come to the wrong conclusions. And as you heard during the prosecution's opening statements, the prosecutor said that use tattoo on his neck symbolizes his hands around Kara's throat. The defense says they plan to try and present evidence to explain why he would allegedly confess to several people to something that they say he did not commit. They also say they are going to try and have an alibi defense. We, of course, will bring you more coverage. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. All right, thank Thank you, Emily. Now, this is a case KCTV5 has been following for more than a decade now. And our investigative reporter Angie Racono looks back at what has led to this trial. Four years ago, a mushroom hunter stumbled across bones in Cass County. It was a devastating end to a terrible mystery. What happened to two young women? Kara Kapetsky was just 17 when she disappeared. Jessica Runyons was 21. This is Kara's stepfather. Thank you for being there for Jessica. Thank you for being there for our families. Because if it wasn't for your support and love, you know, we don't know where we'd be at. And their lives mattered. Cara's family always believed Kyler used killed their daughter. But for more than a decade, no body was found. Cara had a protection order against used at the time of her disappearance in 2007. Investigators just needed more evidence. In 2016, Jessica Runyons vanished. She was last seen driving away in her SUV with Eust. It was later found on fire. Eust sat in jail for burning it. This was his mugshot. United Front. We're a team. We're a family. All right. Brought together by a tragedy, but family nonetheless. The two families supported each other as daughters went missing, then remains found and identified. Use would eventually be charged with murder. The trial was delayed as use legal team argued he wasn't competent to stand trial. A judge ruled he is. Also, a key witness died in jail. Use half brother Jessup Carter. Carter told investigators use confessed to him that he killed Jessica Runyons and he saw use burn her SUV. And Carter said he drove use to Edwards, Missouri to heal from burns following that fire. Other witnesses are expected to testify that Kyler Hughes confessed and alluded to the murders during the past decade. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.